Kaslik and King. Ready to go. Semi-final number two, New Zealand and Australia. <laughs> Tyler King gets us underway. New Zealand not to go long and deep and it bounces and it rolls and it's just there for Kaslik right on her own goal line. And look at the pressure New Zealand tried to put on early defensively. Australia is going to have to rumble a little bit, rumble this out, yeah. and that's a good charge from NASA. Kaslik, Smale, chopped down by Pody Lane, trying to roll her way out of there. Tegan Levi spots a gap. There was a hole. Kaka's going to chase her. Kaka looks to drag her down. A big fend from Levi. Kaka clings on somehow, and there's a penalty for a high shot in there. So a great burst from Tegan Levi. Fantastic vision from Levi to accelerate this Aussie side forward. Penalty from Kaka gives them another tap on halfway. Boy, it got them out of trouble, didn't it? They were camped down now. Here's Ashby, fresh legs, hasn't played since the first game. Levi, taken down by Teresa Setifano, getting the start in the final. Shani Smale, the veteran player. Dragged down by one of the rookies in New Zealand, Georgia Miller. Australia looking to build. They've got so many attacking weapons. There's one of them, Faith Nathan. And Ashby another. No way through, though. New Zealand's defence hold firm early on. Can't get hands on ball. Again, Nasser. Gee, she's becoming such a key player in this Australian side. Bella Nasser. Now Ashby opts for a change of tactic. Levi's going to fly down on this one. How's the bounce? The ball will beat them because Maddie Levi had the foot race won. Oh, a let off for New Zealand there. The bounce wasn't kind for Australia. That's the line go. Vision from Ashby to see there was no one in the backfield. Like that's Rolling line. along, Levi had streaked in front of Kaka. It just finds touch. Uh, come in, please don't walk in. Tyler King will throw this line out about 25 metres out from New Zealand's line. Much like the first semi-final, it's really tense and the hum around the crowd. And that's taken down by Pody Lane for Woodman Whitcliffe. So New Zealand first real attacking chance for them here with Setefano finds Kaka. She looks to offload for King, holds on to it. Miller wants to dance her way around defences. King can't get away from Kaslik. Here's the footwork of Miller again and then just barrels herself into Levi and Smale. It's untidy for New Zealand. Setefano gets there and somehow New Zealand have held on to the ball. Woodman Wycliffe, Levi comes at her, wrapped around the ankles and eventually dumped into the ground. Great spot tackle from Maddie Levi and she's come out and picked the pocket as the ball spilled out. There was no protection from New Zealand at all and Levi put the shot on and away she goes for the first try in the semi. Huge play from Levi, known for his go try scoring abilities, but the hit on Woodman Whitcliffe, the ball spills out and she picks it up and darts away. The support not there for New Zealand and Australia pounce early in this match. She was sniffing around, Maddie Levi. Such a class finisher, but she earned that try herself as well. The conversion is good too, so Australia first blood, seven points to nil. I wonder if they do a sausage sizzle, the Bunnings lads. A home, a home uh, DIY store across New Zealand and Australia. You can get a great sausage with some onions while you wait. Meanwhile, back to the all-important semi-final. Knock on the lane. Tackle. That's knocked off. I think just Levi's head on the way through, so it's going to be New Zealand ball for Woodman Whitcliffe. Advantage over. City final. Now Blyde, first touch from Michaela Blyde. Haven't seen her in the action yet. Goes past Kaslik again. Nasser is there, though. Step, step. City final. Miller. The size is up the option, then the switch for King again. Woodman Whitcliffe once more at Levi, clinging on nice and low around the ankles and can't let Woodman Whitcliffe drive those legs. Sikifano, short for Kaka, 
try to get her footwork going. Now some space for Miller in New Zealand up the middle. Miller, Levi's going to chase. She needs some support. There's the New Zealand support players. Miller gets out of a couple. And another. There's the support from Blyde on the edge. But put it down to the work of Miller. And then her flyer on the outside finishes. The answer back that New Zealand needed. The loop around from Kaka sees the space open up for Miller. She looks to be in cruise mode, waiting for her support. She got free from two Australian defenders. And who else but Michaela Blyde on the edge to finish a fabulous work try for New Zealand. Now the two classy finishes, the two world-class wingers there they are, both on the score sheet. Four, point, uh, four tries separating for the season. Levi just ahead. Remarkable numbers from both of these women. So we're back all square, seven all in the semi-final. Cody Lane, busy on defense as always. Whether it's Shave and it was the offload for Kaslik up the middle. Setefano is not going to get her and Charlotte Kaslik will streak away. Answering straight back for Australia. That brilliant track, that familiar straight striding run of Charlotte Kaslik up the centre of the pitch. Taking all the time she's allowed and dots it down under the posts. Oh, she was the leading try scorer here last year, but this is her first of the tournament, and she makes it special. A great run from Shave. Always in support, Kaslik is. Streaking away. Setifano in desperation diving, but Kaslik steaming towards that south stand. And dots the ball down for an all-important score just before halftime. A simple conversion for Shani Smale. Charlotte Kaslik creeping up the list as well. I mean, ahead of Bianca Perella a couple of tournaments ago. That's another to the tally. 14 points to seven. Australia go back in front. Nice take from Cody Lane. New Zealand. Looking to respond again. Spent a lot of time in this area. Here's Miller again coming to the fore and big games once more. Georgia Miller. Blyde is in possession. She's got Faith Nathan and Shave all over it. Kaka. King. And the King takes it herself and Miller. Close quarter play for New Zealand. City final. She'll go up over halfway and lay it back once more. Australia as we're deep into extra time in this first half. Pody Lane gets rid of Smale and the balance is brilliant from Reese Pody Lane. Levi's going to chase, but Pody Lane will have enough to get there. And now it's New Zealand who hit back once more through the captain, Reese Pody Lane. The two captains are having a field day out here. She catches the ball high in her hand. The uh, step off the right foot. Smale diving in desperation. But she was able to stay balanced and poised in the contact. Corey Lane stepping up when New Zealand needs it most. Oh, you've got to love New Zealand-Australia clashes. Whatever stage of the tournament. And we're going to go into halftime in this one in the semi-final. 14 all, New Zealand and Australia. Tia Hines onto the field. She'll get us underway and... As she does that, we can go down to Tanika Willison, injured out of this match for New Zealand. Meeks, how's the heart going in this one? Yeah, it always pumps against um, oh, in any game, really, but nah, it's, it's beating pretty fast, uh, can't lie. What are you seeing so far? What did you make of that first half and where things are at? Yeah, I guess um, like we play the same game. So holding on to the ball uh, is crucial for us here. Um, we know that we can play, so nice, Ray. Go, Ray! Making sure that we're in our threes, just like that, and then letting the ball do the work. 
Tanika, it's Alicia here. You're a bit like me on the sideline. It's hard to not get involved. No, please! <laughs> Sorry. No, stay with us, Colin, and his weapon watch of Levi. Willison watching on. Levi drags it down. Keep going, Tanika. What do you see here? What's the play? Get it to Minnie. Do some full work, Minnie, as she does. Minnie and Ray on the side. That's some pretty... Oh, that... Come on, come on. Bit of inaccuracy here. And, um, oh, young... Oh, my God. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Now we work. Yes, please. Come on. Yes! <laughs> well, Tamika Willison, your commentary team debut has worked out beautifully. <laughs> Well, let you go and enjoy the rest of this match. Hopefully the heart palpitations are all right. Thank you. We rode every minute of that try as Woodman Whitcliffe streaks away from Levi. Desperate chases. She's ducking, weaving, looking from behind. It ended up being a simple numbers game. Maddie Levi bit in on the edge there and left. Woodman Whitcliffe with a little bit of work to do and crosses that line like she's done so many times before. A fierce Manawahini woman warrior. Oh, and the conversion too. So for the first time in the match, New Zealand go in front and Woodman Wycliffe gets a breather, as does Tanika Willison. What an insight to see that from the side. So it's 21-14 New Zealand again off for this tech of going deep and trying to push Australia. Polly Lane can't quite hang on. Oh, that would have been a big play if it came off. Option, scrum line up. Scrum line up. So here's the table as well. Number one plays number two. If New Zealand get up in this one, that could see them roll over the top depending on other outcomes, but... That's why it is just so fierce between these sides. Crouch. Line. Set. So Australia's turn to respond, and we know they can absolutely do that with the players on this side. Here's one of them, Tegan Levi, up the middle, but Nuku and Kaka have her. Soraya Pucky out there, Felix Hotham for New Zealand, so both teams rolling out some fresh legs. Kaka still going. Now a little bit of space, just pressing here. Levi, oh, big contact. Nessa. It's back 10, please. Might check this. We will check this. Looking for foul play, the referee has called. The collision between... Oh. Nuku and Nasa collide. The grimace on Nasa's face. I wonder if it's just the ball in between that's caused the issue. Craig, yeah. I have a decision for you. Yeah. There is no head contact, there's therefore no offence. So no head contact, so we scrum down. It just looked Australia open, and I think Nessa went away because she probably got a bit winded in there. Woodman Wycliffe happy that that result didn't go the other yeah. way. No foul play to be called, and a scrum play to Australia. Still not out of trouble. I just think seeing the intensity of Woodman Wycliffe on the side and, and those players that you yeah, played sure, against and played right, with, Alicia, tight. like it's the Kazakh up, and Smale, and they still have such desire, Woodman Wycliffe, those who've been around and done it for so Set. long, set such a standard. Oh. Oh. And it comes for Nathan, here's Tegan Levi, up towards the 22, finds Faith Nathan as well, but there's just not room for Nathan to get away. Hines to find this woman here, Maddie Levi. Here's the one-on-one, -on -one, Levi and Blyde. It's tall and short together, and eventually Blyde brings her to ground. It's physical. Pucky back to the middle for Australia, getting trying to get the levers, the arms fending in the face of Kaka. There'll be a penalty. Kaka can't roll away. Nathan 
It's Australia chasing just under three minutes to go in the semi-final. And the ball spills forward. The shot came on from Felix Hotham on Tegan Levi. Ben Tarita watching on. Difficult times. A big play from Felix Hotham. Ball goes forward out of Levi's hands. Right, set up, please. Let's go. When the pressure's on, it's Samantha against you, and indecision Thanks comes in late yeah. in the half. Fatigue also adds to that. Chimarita, she Ready? knows time Crowd. is ticking away. Desperate times Nine. for Australia here. Just a little composure needed. Perhaps if you cancel a call, what, what are you Let saying to your team again, in a situation okay, like this, Quick? There is still a lot of time on the hit. clock, and they have right, a wealth go. of attacking we'll weapons in this side. Good. Like you said, Ricky, composure, ball possession, and some second touches. Crouch. You're not going to be able to beat New Zealand Boy. a class side one on one every single occasion. Set. Scrum sets just on New Zealand side of halfway. Australia put massive pressure Coming on, but up. they concede the penalty. They just pushed upwards. Have up. to push straight. Tyler King just got hammered at the base of that scrum. What are we doing? Crazy Poldy Lane, as you call for another right, one, I'm sure if Tyler was going interested in feeding another scrum. No, they're going to tap here, New Zealand. Use it now. Waka with the tap for Nyan Naku. King. There's Mahina Paul out there as well, lost control. So here's a chance for Australia. Quick on scrum. Go. That's the swing that Australia needed. Just going to set up, please, 30 seconds. The Good. contact coming from Ashby. The ball is loose. Paul loses it forward. And now this is the time that Australia need to be composed. They need to strike with ball in hand. A minute and a half left in this second half of a match. How many options would a team have in a situation like this? Back on. Crouch. You've got a bag of tricks always, Ricky. Boy. But you're going to stick to what you know works. And most likely Set. we go wide to Levi, secure possession and build phases. Let's see if this is what Australia can do. Less than 90 seconds to play now. And it's a converter try the difference. Here come Australia. Here comes Levi. Can't get past Nuku. She's stuck on halfway. Kaslik working hard as always. Teague and Levi pressing. Tia Hines can't get through. Felix Hotham now a little bit of space for Tegan Levi. And now Pocky can't bring it in. And a couple of times as they pushed Australia. Ball's gone to ground. Oh, the frustration for Soraya Pucky. You can feel the Still disappointment playing. in that one. The space was there. But a swipe at the ball. Disappointing Crouch. for Soraya. Her skills are really high class. And at that Boy. moment, they just let her down. Still time for Australia. Set. They need one big steal, one big play to get back into this match and perhaps send us to extra time in this tight, tense semi-final. Paul couldn't quite get away. Great cover from Nathan. New Zealand on to attack. Pody Lane, Miller. Through the hands they go. Jasmine Felix Hotham off the bench with a real spark. Australia's defence having to hold firm, but the clock is ticking. It's all in New Zealand's favour now. As, well, look who just got caught in about 17 miles, let alone two. And here goes Miller to finish it off in fine style. Georgia Miller comes to the show in the big games. And she puts New Zealand through to another cup final. What a contest between these great, great rivals. And New Zealand will go through to the decider. Isn't Miller such a superstar? She brushes off Kazlik and breaks the heart of this Australian side. Her Blackburn 7s teammates love it. They're dancing. They are proud of such an individual effort on that last one. A superstar she is. The young players in the old stages, Portia Woodman, Wickless try was critical to help New Zealand through. They go through to the decider, they'll play the United States. It's New Zealand 28, Australia 14.